Feeling sluggish, bloated, and weighed down by the demands of modern life? You are not alone. In a world inundated with processed foods and environmental toxins and stressors at every turn, it's no wonder that our bodies often cry out for a reset. Enter the detox, a tantalizing promise of renewed energy and glowing skin and a fresh start. But before you dive headfirst into the latest cleanse craze or juice fast, I wanna break down a few myths and answer some of the common questions that I get about about detoxes and cleanses to help you make an informed decision and take the steps that work for you. In this video, I am going to peel back the layers of detoxification and give you some information that you may not have heard before. And I'm also going to give you some really simple steps that you can take if you want to do an easy detox at home. Now, if you have watched me here on YouTube before, then welcome back. But if you are new to my channel, then welcome. I am Dr. Kim Foster and I'm an MD turned coach and wellness expert. I was a family doctor for 20 years before leaving clinical medicine and to transition over to the wellness world. And I am also the founder of the Wellness Coach Academy, where we train aspiring health and wellness coaches and help them to build their businesses. So here on YouTube, I share tips and tricks to help you to feel better and live well. And if that sounds good, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Now let's talk about detoxes. We're going to break down everything that you need to know about detoxes. And at the end, I'm going to give you a really simple seven step detox protocol that you can easily do at home. So make sure that you stay all the way to the end to hear about that protocol. And before we get into everything, I would love for you to just take a sec right now to drop me a note in the comments, just to let me know if you have done a detox before and how it worked for you. Okay, let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at what our body is already doing for us because the truth is our bodies already have several mechanisms for detoxification. So the liver is our primary detox organ. It processes toxins by converting them into less harmful substances that can then be excreted. This process involves two main phases, phase one and phase two detoxification. So in phase one, enzymes convert fat soluble toxins into intermediate compounds. In phase two, these intermediate compounds are further metabolized and conjugated to make them water soluble, which facilitates their excretion in the urine or the bile. Next up, the kidneys also filter waste products and toxins from the blood, which are then excreted into the urine. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining electrolyte balance and regulating fluid levels in the body. Third, the lungs also help in the elimination of volatile toxins and waste gases through respiration. When you exhale, carbon dioxide and other volatile substances are expelled from the body. Sweating is the fourth way that the body eliminates toxins. The sweat glands in the skin excrete water and salt and small amounts of toxins, and that helps to regulate body temperature and remove waste products. And finally, the GI tract plays a role in detoxification through processes such as digestion and absorption and excretion. The intestines absorb nutrients and water while filtering out toxins and waste products. And then the colon eliminates waste through the bowel movements. Okay, so that is what our body is doing already on its own to detoxify. So the next question is, if our bodies are already doing this, do we even need to do anything else? It sounds like our systems have this handled, right? Well, in today's world, there are several reasons why it's important to take proactive steps to improve and support detoxification. So let's look at six different factors at play here. One is increased exposure to environmental toxins. Modern lifestyles expose us to a wide range of environmental toxins that our ancestors just didn't encounter. These toxins come from air pollution, water contamination, pesticides, and herbicides in food, and household chemicals, and plastics, and electromagnetic radiation from electronic devices. Constant exposure to these toxins can totally overwhelm the body's natural detox detoxification pathways. The second factor is poor dietary choices. The modern diet often consists of processed foods, high in sugar and unhealthy fats and artificial additives and preservatives. And these foods provide little nutritional value and can really burden the body's detoxification organs. 
The third factor is stress. Chronic stress is very common in today's fast-paced world and can have a profound impact on our health. Stress hormones like cortisol can just totally disrupt the body's natural detoxification processes and can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress. Factor number four is sedentary lifestyle. Many of us these days lead sedentary lives due to desk jobs and long commutes and excessive screen time. And when we don't move, that impacts our circulation and our lymph system systems and just slows down our natural detox pathways. The fifth factor is overuse of medications and drugs. So the widespread use of medications and recreational drugs and alcohol can place additional stress on the liver and kidneys, which leads to impaired detoxification. And then there's the concept of cumulative toxic burden, which is factor number six. Over time, the body can accumulate toxins from various sources, and that leads to a cumulative toxic burden. This can contribute to chronic health problems problems, including autoimmune diseases, hormonal imbalances, metabolic disorders, and cancer. Supporting detoxification through lifestyle changes and targeted interventions can help to reduce the body's toxic load and promote optimal health. Okay, so given all these factors, you might be wondering what the noticeable effects might be if you were to do a detox on your own. So let's talk about that next. Now, of course, everyone is different and the extent of the benefits that you will feel depend on things like the duration and the intensity of the detox, as well as your overall health status. But here are some potential benefits that you may experience. Increased energy, improved digestion, clearer skin, weight loss, enhanced immune function and fewer illnesses and faster recovery times, reduced inflammation, mental clarity, mood improvement, and better sleep. Okay, so all that said, and I imagine that you're thinking, oh, that sounds pretty good. So let's chat about a straightforward and easy detox protocol, because one of the big problems that I hear from people is overwhelm about what they're supposed to do if they want to detox. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new health regimen, especially if you have underlying health conditions or concerns. So here's a simple and gentle protocol that you could consider. Step one is hydration. You're going to start each day with a big glass of water. Hydration is key to supporting your body's natural detoxification processes. Throughout the day, aim to drink plenty of water, around eight to 10 glasses, to help to flush out toxins and to keep your body nice and hydrated. Step two is clean eating. During your detox, you are going to focus on whole, nutrient-dense foods. Load up on fruits and vegetables and lean proteins and whole grains and nuts and seeds. These foods are packed with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that support detoxification and overall health. Try to minimize processed foods and sugar and caffeine and alcohol during your detox period. Step three is mindful eating. Practice mindful eating during your detox. Pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues and savor each bite of food. Chew slowly and mindfully and try to eat in a calm and relaxed environment to support digestion and nutrient absorption. Step four is to incorporate herbal teas into your routine. Certain herbal teas like dandelion root tea, green tea, and ginger tea can support liver function and digestion, aiding in detoxification. So enjoy a cup or two throughout the day as a soothing and nourishing ritual. Step five is to sweat it out. I want you to get moving. Exercise helps to stimulate circulation and lymphatic drainage and sweating, all of which support the body's detoxification processes. You don't need to do anything intense. Even a brisk walk or a yoga session or a dance around your living room can do the trick. Step six is rest and relaxation. Do not forget to prioritize rest and relaxation during your detox. Adequate sleep and stress management are really Really crucial for supporting detoxification and your overall well-being. So aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night and incorporate relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or gentle stretching into your daily routine. Step seven is gentle detox support. So what I'm talking about here is incorporating gentle detox support supplements or practices such as probiotics, fiber supplements, dry brushing, or Epsom salt baths. These can help further support your body's detoxification pathways without being over 
overly taxing on your system. I am personally a big fan of dry brushing. I do this regularly and also a big fan of Epsom salt baths. Epsom salts are nothing new, but they contain magnesium, which is a great way to support your body's relaxation and calming mechanisms. And yes, magnesium does get absorbed through the skin. Now, in terms of supplements to support the body's detox processes, this one probably deserves its own video. So if that is something that you would be interested in hearing from me about, then just drop me a note in the comments to let me know. Remember, during your detox, it's really important to listen to your body throughout the process. And if you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional for guidance. Now, if a full-blown detox seems to be just a bit too much for you at the moment, but you do want to work on practicing some self-care, then I think that you will find my free self-care checklist really helpful. It contains a list of very simple, easy things that you can do right now to practice self-care. You can find Find the link in the description box and just go ahead and download it right away for free. As always, I would love to hear from you. Is detox something that you have done before? Was it helpful? I would love to know. Make sure that you let me know in the comments below. Okay, that is a wrap for this video. Take care, have an amazing day, and I will see you again very soon.